Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm looking at Dragon Dictate 4. Now I want to look at the command option. In Dragon Dictate 4 you have built in commands for applications such as Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, also Safari. Now you can actually add your own commands on certain applications that it's not built in. For example, a lot of people use Photoshop or After Effects or this program for example which is called Audio Note Taker. Fantastic program for taking minutes or lectures because you can import your slides on the left here, add your notes in the middle, also add a reference pane there, and you can also record the audio in blocks to annotate. But what I'm actually looking at is actually creating commands for this application to save me having to click everything. So create commands for this application to start with will be to insert a new section here. So if I click insert, it inserts a new section. So I can add in sections without having to touch it. Also, if I click down here, I might want to add a section there. And so on. If I click remove, it removes that section. So I want to create a command where I can use insert and remove using Dragon by dictating. Really easy to do, and I'll show you that now. Click the middle option here so we can access the toolpath for dictate at the top and select tools. I want you to select commands option or shortcut key command K. Now on the left here is your applications that you've already got commands for. Now I've added ones for Claro Read, as you can see, and I've also added one for MindView. But you've got loads of built-in ones for text editor, your browser Safari, notes, and so on. But audio note taker is not there, or be it Photoshop or After Effects, whatever application you're going to use. So if you click the bottom left hand corner plus and select new application context. So we need to find that application here. So you have a look in your list and in this case I'm going to use Audio Note Taker. Click open. It's now added at the top here, Audio Note Taker. Now I've clicked into Audio Note Taker on the left and you can see there is no commands here. I can actually click the built-in if there's built-in commands or user defined. But I've selected all because none exist. So now I'm going to start adding my commands. I said I wanted to add an insert and remove command. So what I can do here is click plus to add a new command and I'm going to call this insert nice and simple because remember you have to remember them and then I can give a description if I want I should just call this audio now context is audio note takers that's the application I'm creating a command for again if you click the drop down menu here it's exactly the same as the one on the left so you can choose which application you want to create commands for so let's leave an audio note taker, move this out of the way. Now this is a really important type. Now you need to choose the type of commands you want to use. If you're good with scripts then you can use the Apple script, if you tap that, and then you can type in your scripts there. Also I can use applications, so you can open up certain applications that you can't normally open up. For example, I can create application, choose application, select audio note taker and create a command to open up audio note taker as well. Also, we have bookmark for Safari and bookmark website list, really good. You can open up specific files or folders by creating a command. Now, let's skip the rest and go straight to menu item. Now, this enables me now, if I click down, to actually access, through drag and dictate, the menu items at the top here. So if I go to format, I want insert section break and remove section break. So if I open up Dragon. I can start adding those commands. So I've got insert, select the menu, and it was format, first one's insert. So this is my first command. It's called insert, description, audio, context, audio note taker program. I'm accessing the menu and there's the command insert section break. So click save. And now you can see in my list, there it is. There's no built in one. If I click user defined, because I've added it, it's user defined. Now I need to create a second command for remove. Again, give a command name here. Remove. You don't have to put the description if you don't want to because they're saved in one application. For example, Audio Note Taker, all the commands will be in Audio Note Taker. But it's still handy just to keep everything organised. Again, it's already set up Audio Note Taker type. Menu item again. Select, so I want to go to format again because the next command is remove. 
and now I've selected the second command, click save. So I've got insert and remove. Now we'll see if they actually work now. So if I close the command browser, click into audio note taker, see if I can actually create and insert a new section. Insert, remove, go to sleep. And as you can see, it's inserted and I can remove it just by creating simple commands. Also, bear in mind when you are using applications, you won't always find a command in the menu that you actually want. But don't worry, because you can actually use shortcut keys. Let me show you what I mean. Keystrokes work really well. So say I want to select everything. I mean, I could just click into all the note taker and select Command A as so, and that will select everything. Now I could go to File and have a look for Select All there as well. It does the same thing. But say you don't have that command, for example, select all. Why not use a keystroke? Let me show you what I mean. Click the middle button again so we can access the toolbars at the top. We're going back to the command browser. Select tools, commands. Now this time, if I move this out of the way, I want to add a command again. And I'm going to call this command select tool. Now if you ain't got that option in the menu, in this case we have, but if you didn't have that option in the menu of select all, then what we could do is this. Go to type and select keystroke. Now by adding keystrokes you can have certain commands created without worrying about what's in the menu. So I want to click plus. So the keystroke is already A, so I can type in there. A is fine. Command. So every time I say select tool, it's now going to create command for me. Click save, audio note taker, there's a list of my commands and they're all user defined if I click on that because I've added them. The third one down you can see is a keystroke, the other two are menu items. So let's see if it now will select all. Select all. And there you go. Simple. Really useful for Photoshop or for using computer aided design can really speed things up obviously you can have drag and run in the background wake up and do commands quickly thanks for watching